Hey, everybody. I clicked on a minute early just in case. So, you know, for Wi Fi connections. So, I'll wait just a minute. Hope you guys are having a great, it's cold here. So, hey Gail. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am going to go ahead and get started. I'm gonna um, share with you a little bit first of how this is gonna work. So I am um, Heather Portwood, and um, I'm your diamond leader with Young Living. And if there are any cross-line people in here tonight, then hello to you too. You're welcome to join us. We're excited for this. So um, I am going to talk for probably about 15 minutes, just kind of, you know, open my heart and all that jazz and, and answer a couple of questions that I got from some of the leaders before. And then um, at about 8.16, there's gonna be videos that are going to be popping up in this event page. So they will all be numbered. And um, so one will come up and then it'll, you know, depending on how long it, it is, um, then the next one will, will pop up. So just watch those. Um, they are not live, but your leaders are watching live. I had specific um, topics that I wanted them to discuss and uh, they have been so amazing. They are absolutely incredible and I cannot wait for you to hear them and see what they have to share. There are topics that you know we have dealt with in our business um, that they're going to discuss. So kind of like dispelling some myths or giving you some tips and, and all kinds of things. So um, back, oh my gosh, I'm so freaking nervous. You would not even believe. I like probably put on like, okay, almost an entire bottle, bottle of Valor in like 45 minutes, but that's okay because that's part of this business is just you get to do stuff with people that you absolutely adore and love and you do hard things together and you, um, it's a journey together. Like it's the best J-O-B I have ever had in my entire life. So let's go back to a little bit about just refocus. So when I first started um, with the oils, I had a two year old who he is now 10, and they're watching the Thunder game, so I apologize if there's any hooting or hollering. Um, so, um, sorry, Nikki quit texting me right now. Um, so he was really sick, he dealt with a lot of respiratory situations, and so I was not crunchy at all, not natural, you know, nothing like that. And a friend of mine, you know, let me have a bottle of peppermint and RC. And so I used it the way she told me to use it. And I was, well, first of all, I would tell you, I was like in a puddle, like crying because I couldn't believe that we had been to pediatric pulmonologists. We've been to allergy specialists and all that was, um, really addressed was dosage of the medications. And so I knew I needed something different, but I didn't know what that was. And so when I saw the effects with my two-year-old, that changed my world, totally changed my world. And so I just started sharing. I didn't have, I didn't really know, um, my, well, my upline or whatever, I didn't know them. I, you know, that, that came, relationships came later, but I had a huge passion for um, wanting to give moms tools that was outside of, you know, medicine, you know, and over the counter things like that. So I just started sharing in my, in my home. I didn't have scripts or anything like that at the time. I just simply, you know, Googled stuff. I didn't know what the desk reference was, but I have been consistently sharing for, um, I've been consistently sharing for seven years, 
um, but I didn't really start the business until about five years ago. And here's the reason why. I only started sharing because, again, I only wanted to empower moms to have a different tool to help. I had to overcome a lot of things like self-worth and um, a huge, what we call poverty mindset, which was just, you can Google that. <laughs> it's just that emotion that just makes you feel like, I can't pay, I can't pay for that. I'm not, I'm not worth the investment, I, all those investment type thinkings, that's what poverty mindset is. And I attended my first convention. I was an executive. I still did not want to do the quote unquote business. It just kind of happened because I was consistently sharing. I, I still, as a diamond leader, I teach at least one class a week. I take off, you know, I have six children, but I should have said that. I have six babies, um, 12 and under, and um, great husband who's very supportive, um, mainly supportive because he saw how quickly the oils worked. And so he was like, yeah, if you can, you know, share that, that's awesome. It wasn't ever like a money thing, but I can tell you something, you guys. I never finished college. Um, I went as you know, to school as a vocal performance major. I was in theater and vocal performance and ah, opera. That was my major. I mean, I don't know what you do with that, but that's that's what I did. But my, my heart's desire was just to be a wife and a mom. That was really my heart's desire. So um, I just talked to Christian. I think it was after I got home from convention and um, I had heard Mary say, that we need money in the hands of good people. That's why these types of businesses are set up and why people um, grow in these types of businesses because they're not hoarders of money. They're not successful because they keep everything for themselves. They are successful because they grow, they work harder on themselves than anybody else. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not just about Young Living. It's not just about network marketing these what we have is something that is like if I can say kingdom mindset so I'm getting over my insecurities I'm getting over my fears I'm getting over um, you know emotional issues that I've struggled with my entire life and you don't do that typically in a normal job and so, um, you know, six kids have kind of, you know, refined me as well. Um, but so, I don't want to get off. Um, so I just, I, I continue to share. And um, I love teaching. I love teaching about oils. Now, you will notice in all of these different videos that you're going to watch tonight, everybody has their own niche. Everybody has their own, you know, way to express and talk and you're going to see some just really great tips um, and real tips. And I'm going to tell you guys, anybody can do this business. Anybody can. Anybody can be a diamond, but you all quit too soon. Everybody quits too soon. There's no reason why I should be here. I have no business background. I have nothing. I don't have anything. All I have was my passion to share the oils and I started sharing consistently and that is literally my claim to any type of fame. There's nothing other. I don't have a blog. I don't, um, there's nothing. I mean, literally, it's just been my passion for wanting to help moms get tools to help their babies. That was my thing. That is still my thing. And so my... What I hope you gain from tonight is um, just really seeing how real we are. And um, it's like, seriously, you guys, I mean, we don't have anything other. We're normal. We're completely friggin' normal. There's nothing, you know, that we have done or haven't done. Um, we just want to empower you 
Um, and just to let you know, this is a really fun thing. I mean, these people have become some of my best friends, the people that you wish that you always had, that you, I, okay, so let me tell you this. So with insecurity stuff, I was overweight the majority of my adolescent and teenage years. And so I come with a lot of insecurities and um, it's still a struggle for me that I have any type of inspirational qualities or anything like that. I still struggle, but I don't know. This is such an incredible thing that we have and the, um, the oils are, f I mean, I just, they've changed my life. I know they've changed your life too. And so just, Kind of, if it's something that you want to do, stepping out and just starting to share, we can, I mean, we're completely behind you 100%. And we want to see you succeed. And we want to see oils in every home. I mean, that's basically one of another reason why I started was like, I can't, I can't get oils in every home on my, on my own. Like, I have to figure out ways to duplicate myself or, um, and, and that's what, I mean, we have 8,000 members on our group now, and that's just completely incredible to me. Um, I, I have to tell you a little bit, just because it's the business. The business side of this has just been totally unexpected. Um, and my husband is a, a clock he and his mom run a um, antique clock shop. It's a great business. It's great. Um, but our finances were so like a struggled. I mean, for years, you guys, I know some of you are in the same, the same boat. And so living paycheck to paycheck and, um, and not really having, you want to say hi? He just brought me a Kleenex. <laughs> So, um, as a mom, going to a grocery store was the most terrifying thing that I had to do because if I didn't keep the budget right, then I'd be there in front of everybody and have to put stuff back after I put it on the cart. I mean, there was, there was no out. There was no out. I mean, we were um, destined for a mediocre financial gain. I mean, nothing more at all until Young Living. And I can't tell you why. I don't know why. I still struggle with, um, with like the leadership position that I'm in. I still struggle with like the amount of money that we're making because it's completely like, I've only been doing this for five years consistently five years. Okay. So that may seem like a lot of time, but I could never make this amount of money. N neither one of us could ever make this amount of money. And you know, I am, if you know about, um, um, personalities, I am your pearl yellow, which is I'm your servant minded. I'd rather, you know, I gave the majority of my product away whenever I first started, never charged a dime to anybody, you know, and um, so we're able to give more and we tithe more because, I, I mean, there's like always so much money that you can spend, you know, but then there's savings and paying off debt. And I'm setting up my family for life. I'm setting up my family for life and I'm teaching them tools that I'm learning along the way. And just trying to better myself along this journey and be a better version of myself. And this is the perfect outlet I could ever suggest to anybody. If you love oils, which I assume that's why you're on here, just start sharing. And you have so many of us that want to teach you, want to help you want to see you succeed and grow faster than any of us have. And 
I mean, it's just, it's completely life-changing. And I, I'm, I'm so thankful for the Lord for this. Um, so I have two more minutes before my scent share starts, which is when all the videos will come up. So let's pray that works because it's my first time doing it, which was another going outside of my comfort zone thing because I just avoided learning it, but I did. But, um, so some questions. You want to reach out to your people more than just on social media. This is a relationship business and is not network marketing MLM, even though that's what we are. We are a relationship business. You cannot just give, you know, sign somebody up for a kit and then not follow up. And it's the best way is just relationship. Um, time management. I have a good thing for you guys. Next month, um, for the drop, we are going to, we are going to, I'll talk about this later, but we're thinking about doing Danny Johnson's um, Time Secrets, which is absolutely incredible. It changed everything for me with my disorganization um, just to be able to set business hours and um, not be totally like freaked out like, oh my gosh, I have this time that I can do something right now. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So we're going to set that up for you guys. Um, inspiring others. Inspire people by being you. Don't be somebody else. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. Um, just be you. And it is 816. So I am going to um, talk on a few more things. And then the post should pop up in here after I'm done. Or already. But don't, don't, don't stop watching. Okay, so... Um, hobbies versus business. This business can be done any way you want to, okay? Nobody's saying that you have to work a bajillion hours a week. I am, you know, at a high level leadership position and I work 14 hours a week. And I do have a calendar that I'm still working on being organized. Um, but I don't work 40 hours a week, don't work 20 hours a week, don't work 60 hours a week. Um, there are other leaders that do, but I, again, I'm a mom of six, we homeschool, and that's my first priority. So, um, but you do need to know, you need to treat this, if this is something you want to do as your business, you know, if you want to, you know, earn financial gain outside of getting your, your order paid for monthly, which is totally where I started, um, then you need to set your business hours. You need to talk to your husband, um, you know, however that works out and you guys work a schedule as far as, you know, how you're going to spend your time and, and, and knowing what you're going to work on and get it done. And then you're done for the day. Um, again, cause consistency was the next question of mine being consistent. Again, I have to have a class scheduled every single week. Granted there's holidays and it's okay to take off. Um, just be consistent, okay? Um, I cannot tell you guys just to get over the poverty mindset thing. Just get over it. You're so worthy of everything that God has for you. You're worthy of money. You're worthy of abundance. You're worthy of um, edification. I mean, just whatever your hang-up is, which mine was the majority was poverty mindset. That was my major hurdle. And um, I I mean, I clearly when I was, I did go to Danny Johnson and I attended her seminars and that's when the Lord spoke to me and he said, Heather, you're worthy of everything I have to give you. Will you let me? And I was like, freaking hey man, okay. I mean, just get over the lies. Just get them out of your head. You know, use some sacred frankincense, do the AFT, you know, the aroma freedom technique, whatever, whatever you need to do to get over your hurdles of your self-worth, just do it because you don't want to be stuck for the rest of your life feeling insignificant and unworthy. And that's where I was headed. That's totally where I was headed. And and God has more for you and, and you're, okay, sorry. Um... Educate on the lifestyle. You, have, you need to be a lifestyle of this. So I'm not saying don't 
not get a Diet Coke, and I'm not saying don't go to Chick-fil-A, I'm not saying all that, but you do, I mean, if you want to get better and healthy and well, then you need to know that you can't be eating crap all day, and you can't, you know, so just kind of try to make sure that when you're um, sharing this, that you are an example, you are a billboard for this, but there's grace, there's total grace, um, Okay, the last question I'm going to um, touch on just because this was important and um, doing multiple MLMs at one time. So I'm going to tell you, I, I did Arbonne because I was we were pregnant with our first son and finances were crap and I did Arbonne strictly for money and I hated every second of it. Absolutely hated it. Spent $4,000 on makeup. That got us into, you know, more debt and, um, so Young Living, if this is not your mission, that's okay, okay? If this is not what you want to do, but doing more than one MLM, um, it can cause confusion for your customers and your prospects. Um, it causes lack of trust. It, um, it's just confusing. So just stick with one. And if Young Living is not the one, that's okay. But you're not going to, I'm just telling you, don't do more than one MLM. Just don't. <laughs> you're not going to succeed doing more than one. You can't fish from two boats. You need to laser focus and vision on, um, what your mission is. And, and again, if it's not even loving, that's fine, but I'm telling you, we have the best one. So, and, and you, you come with this hot mess. So I am going to stop now. And if you have, I will go through and answer these questions, but I don't want you to miss. I've already gone over and I need to check the sent share to make sure it's posting. Okay. So Again, your leaders are watching, so after their videos play, you can ask them questions, and then we'll have a big Q&A at the end, and you guys can revisit this um, event for the next couple of days and just ask questions, or if there's somebody that you want to invite, again, that's fine. And I'm sorry, I have had multiple meltdowns for the past couple of classes I've done, but I'm just, maybe I need some... Dragon time and a booty bomb. I don't know. Okay. Love you guys. I'm going to post this right now and you go watch the videos and I'm going to watch with you.